The summer exhibition of Stanley Spencer Gallery Cookham is Paradise Regained, Stanley Spencer in the aftermath of World War I. The outbreak of the First World War presented a great moral dilemma for Stanley Spencer. Since leaving the Slade School of Art in 1912, he had entered a heady period of personal fulfilment and artistic success, and his work was attracting the attention of a number of eminent patrons. His true desire was to continue painting the intensely spiritual works within a local setting that he was becoming well known for. But as time went on and he saw local boys returning wounded from the front, he realised that his life and destiny had irrevocably changed and he could no longer remain happily painting in Cookham. He later wrote of his disturbed feelings how could all this be entered into wholeheartedly when war came? I was crushed and I felt I would have to leave it all. In 1915, after much soul searching, Spencer joined the Royal Army Medical Corps, serving initially as a medical orderly at the Balfour Military Hospital in Bristol. Here he met Desmond Shute, a young intellectual with whom he was to correspond with for the duration of the war. These letters to his friend, transcripts and copies of which are held in the gallery's archives, chronicle the young artist's hopes and fears during this difficult time. Spencer had little opportunity to paint and the promised war work commission did not materialise until after his return. He wrote in autumn 1916 from Selinka, You know, Desmond, it is awful the way I'm suffering, being kept from my work like this. Being small in stature and of a sensitive nature, Spencer was not a natural soldier, but was eventually to serve in the front line at Macedonia. Spencer's euphoria on his homecoming at the end of 1918 was initially immense. I felt on returning home as if I were performing a miracle every time I beheld the familiar spots. He soon set about painting Travois with wounded soldiers arriving at a dressing station at small Macedonia for the proposed Ministry of Information Hall of Remembrance Key. Shortly after completing this work, he forsook further official war commissions amid fears that he had lost his artistic vision due to the schism created by war. He later acknowledged, Oh no, it is not proper or sensible to expect to paint well after such experiences. Returning to safer ground, he sought inspiration and solace from his birthplace, painting a number of scenes located within the very fabric of the village. Such paintings comprise a key theme of Paradise Regained and their exhibition in Cookham in this important Great War centenary year is most appropriate. The Bridge, 1920, is a highly nostalgic work containing echoes of Spencer's idyllic riverside childhood. More typical of Spencer's biblical subjects within a local setting are Christ's Carrying the Cross 1920, in which Jesus processes down Cookham High Street on his way to Calvary, and The Last Supper 1920, in which Jesus breaks bread with his disciples within a local malt house. Making a timely return to the village is unveiling Cookham War Memorial, 1922, an intriguingly peaceful depiction of a ceremony which would have great importance for the Spencer family as Stanley's elder brother Sidney had been killed in the last few months of the war. By 1923, Spencer felt once again able to think about the war in artistic terms and drew up plans for paintings inspired by his experiences in Bristol and Macedonia that were to decorate a chapel he dreamt of having built. 
in a miraculous turn of events, patrons emerged to finance the scheme and a site was bought at Brooklyn, Hampshire. Plans went through many changes before Spencer began painting the chapel in 1926 as Hilda studying a model for Balclear and the artist's own preparatory drawings show. In many ways, this monumental project finished in 1932, completed the cycle that enabled Stanley Spencer to leave behind the shadow cast by war and move on to the next phase of his life and artistic career. For Spencer, Paradise Regained.